You're married to Opal, I mean, you're having trouble, mm -hmm. but take me through that moment that you sat down and said, I I'm married, but I'm going to create an online dating profile. How did you reason through that? What did you say to yourself? You're, you're married, but you're sitting in front of a computer, which is a pretty public way to do this, and, and you set up something like, I don't know, this was your first one or whatever, but you, you set something up like this, looking for friendship, not looking for a hookup, Sincere conversation, building trust and relationship first, looking forward to hearing from you. You put a picture with it. Sir. This is pretty public. It is. So take me through your thought process when you did this. I was looking for friendship. I wasn't looking for that sexual relationship as, as far as a hookup. I wanted somebody to talk to, connect with it on, I guess, my, my level. But a female. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Were you afraid that somebody you knew would, would see this and go, well, hell, I know him. Yeah. That's the chief. <laughs> He's married with kids. I did. I had those thoughts, but I guess the fear wasn't there that I was going to get outed at that time. So you did think somebody might see this? Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. I did. But it didn't, you didn't have any fear about it? Not when I first created it. Why not? What was your, what was your thinking? When I would like other profiles uh, of women, I looked further away. So I tried to keep some distance as to who I was going to talk to. Yeah, but anybody could see it is my thinking. And that's either ignorant or arrogant. It's one of the two. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because if you put it up, your next door neighbor could see it. I mean, somebody at the bank downtown could see it. Yes, sir. And when I say ignorant, I don't mean stupid. Ignorant is a lack of information about how something works. That's what ignorant means. You just not, how did, I'm trying to figure out what, how you reasoned through that. Yeah, looking back on it, it was stupid. But at the time, that didn't register with you? No, it didn't. All right. It didn't. I, I just thought that to build that relationship with people from a distance from where I was, that I wouldn't get caught but I knew in the back of my mind that there was that chance that somebody locally in the area was going to see that. Okay, and the first woman that contacted you was who? First one I talked to was, uh, was Heather. And how many girlfriends total did you have during the marriage? Connections, relationships, hookups that you had? Well, you know, like any time that you're, you create one of those, there's several people that you communicate with but as far as actual meeting somebody and seeing them in person, uh, there was only four. Heather, Katie, Christy, and, and Cecily was four okay. that I actually met in, in person. How many were you juggling at the same time? I would talk to one or go meet one, and I might be talking to another one at the same time. There was no way to you know, juggle all four. I mean, it was a, like I said, I met Heather in November of 20. And so it was a process from November of 20 up until January. Okay, but at one time you, you were married to Opal and then on the side you had Heather, Christy, Brianna, Christy, Katie, and Cecily. There were six during that span of time from start to finish. Right. Well, Brianna and one of the Christies, I, there's two Christies, one with a K, one with CH. One with the CH. We never actually met. We just talked on. That was just. Yes, sir. Online. Yes, Brianna and Christy. Brianna and the C CH Christy? Yes, sir. We the exchanged. other four were real world. Those two were online. Right. We exchanged phone numbers. So, you know, we did talk through, through text and voice. Oh, okay. But as far as meeting in person, no, sir, we didn't. Brianna and Christy, we did not meet in person. So there were four that you met in the real world, two online, and, and then Opal, that's seven. And this is across not a real big span of time. Your chief of police, seriously, how did you work that out? Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.